He inserts the main drive motor and then secures it to an aluminum partition with the shaft protruding through the other side. He then wraps the drive chain around the sprockets of the shaft. He loops a rubber belt in front of the buffer brush and connects it to the oil applicator. The applicator will slide on the belt, dispensing small amounts of conditioner. He installs whisker sensors to the front on each side. When these whiskers brush the sides of the lane, they'll send a signal to the computer, which will then direct the robot to move more to the center. The conditioning solution tanks have been equipped with metering pumps and pressure gauges. He bolts the assembly to the rear wall of the machine. He pops in the rechargeable battery and connects it to the motor. The machine is ready for the computerized system that runs it. This system includes the control panel. He installs it in the center of the machine just above the battery. He then runs the hose from the conditioning tank over to the applicator and connects it. Moving to the front, another employee unwinds fabric from one roller and attaches the end to the next. This is part of the cleaning system. The cloth will scrub the bowling lane after the robot sprays a cleaning solution onto it. A suctioning squeegee will vacuum up dirt and leftover cleaner and deposit them in this recovery tank. He then plugs the wiring harness into the computer at the back of the control panel. It's time for a dry run. With no cleaner or conditioner in the system yet, the technician powers up the robot and puts it through its paces. He confirms that every part is in good working order. He adds cleaning solution to the tank, and it's time to prepare the lane conditioners. They mix the mineral oil-based conditioners in big blenders. There are nine different recipes with up to 16 ingredients in each one. With the conditioners approved, it's time to test the robot in special quality control lanes. During 50 trips down the lanes, a technician evaluates the robot's performance. He inspects its turning radius and the effectiveness of the sensors. He also scrutinizes the cleaning and conditioning job. Satisfied that the conditioning robot works well on its own, he approves it for shipping. This bowling lane conditioner should be a real game changer and ensure that the path to victory is a well-oiled one.